Hi, my name's Cameron. I'm a final year student at the University of Glasgow studying Earth Science. And today I'm going to be talking to you about host and grabbins. Now here I've got a very simplified version or diagram of a host and grabbin. Now you might be thinking, what is a host and grabbin? Well, a host and grabbin in geology refers to the regions that lie between normal faults. Now before you get to understand what a host and grabbin is, we first need to understand what a normal fault is. So here we have a simplified diagram of a normal fault, but more often than not, we will find these uh, looking like this in the field. So we classify faults by how the two rocky blocks on either side of the fault move relative to each other. A normal fault drops rock on one side of the fault down relative to the other side. So the red line represents the fault and the red arrows represent the direction of movement along the uh, fault. The easiest way to remember uh, the difference between a hanging wall and a foot wall is the hanging wall as it's moving downwards or thrusted downwards is hanging onto the foot wall. And the foot wall, you just remember as it looks like a foot. So, you may be thinking, what has this got to do with a horse and grabbing? Well, this diagram will hopefully explain that. So here we have three diagrams that show the process that creates the horse and grabbing. So at the top here, we have three different strata, to keep it simple. Uh, rock units, and this is before any faulting or geological event has occurred. Further down the line, faulting occurs, as you can see by these lines here, cutting right through the rock units. And further down the line, we then get the normal faulting occurring. Now the normal faults are represented by these lines here, and the arrows show the direction of movement, thrusting the rock units down, and as you can see, the dashed lines here would have been up here originally, like in the first diagram, but have been moved down. So that is how Horst and Graben occurred. Now Horst and Grabens are more often than not formed together and are typically represented by low-lying areas such as Grabens are typically represented by low-lying areas such as rifts and river valleys, whereas horse represent the ridges between or on either side of these valleys. Now I hope I've given you a great insight into how horse and grabbins work. Hopefully made you a bit more interested in the world of earth science. Thank you for watching and hope to catch you next time.